Hello guys, my name is Gay from Fredericton Hyundai. In this video, I am going to show you the 2025, yes, you heard, 2025 Kona N-Line. So let's start. We are starting to receive at Fredericton Hyundai the 2025 uh, Hyundai models. And we received first this very nice 2025 Kona N-Line Ultimate that is a two-tone as you see black roof and red uh, color for the body it's a very nice combination as you see let's start with the front so the front is still the same You have the Engline logo here, and as you know, Engline is the sporty trim of the Kona. With the, this new brand design since 2024, that is amazing. We still have the same uh, 20, uh, the, the same 19-inch rims, Engline, with uh, 235, 45 uh, Kumho tires, and as you know a very uh, great ground clearance you still have the N-Line logo here and as I mentioned to you this is the two-tone so you have the black caps for the mirrors and the black roof as you see and makes a very nice combination with, uh, with this part of the car Let's go to the rear. The rear is the same, but you will not you notice it that there is no the that uh, big rear spoiler of the 2024 model. You have this more traditional design. Remember that that, that spoiler was available that big rear spoiler was available only for the Kona N-Line or N-Line Ultimate. But since 2025, that rear spoiler is not available. Unless uh, you can buy it. I suppose that, uh, and as I heard, uh, Hyundai will release N-Line uh, accessories and probably you will find that rear spoiler as an N-Line uh, accessory. So we still have the the dual chrome exhaust pipe, that rear uh, spoiler, sorry, that rear uh, bumper that are very sporty. The Kona uh, the Kona uh, letters and the, the Kona typography and Hyundai logo and the H track logo chrome, and that uh, rear characteristic design of the Konas. That remembers me the Robocop movie of the 80s. Let's open the roof, the sorry, the trunk. As you know, you have a very good amount of space. Compared to the previous generation Kona, you have around 25% more. You have tire mobility kit, those uh, Kona inline uh, floor mats, and a space here. Let's go to the back and you will see another difference that the 2025 gonna have instead of the 2034. You still have the Alcantara Redder with red stitching and you will see here this rear bends. Yes, 2025 Kona have rear bends. That is a feature that many people was asking and yes, it's available for any trim of 2025 Kona. Also you have USB-C type C ports. I forgot to mention that you have that, that, uh, that nice red detail in the bends, in the rear bends that is available in the Kona in line. You have the black, the still have the black roof no? and LED interior lights. Let's continue to the front. We still have the same materials. 
because it's the end line the front seats are uh, manual you still have that nice uh, this nice detail in the entrance of the car it's only for the front you have uh, aluminium uh, pedals and let's go to the interior let's turn on the car and let's start in the left side you have dimming the lights traction control off downhill assist parking brake and there is another difference here for the 2025 instead of 2024 you have a new design for the gouges new design as you see here but as you notice it not change between the, the modes let me find there is a feature here to change the gouges let's use the search button that is more more easy aha perfect gouges style is because was not activated with the link drive mode so i am going to activate activate it and right now if i switch i change the modes and take take a look so the sport mode looks amazing very amazing design very sporty also including the the typography of the numbers amazing and also you still have the classic one sorry this is the classic one wow looks amazing looks amazing i love it so this is the simple one that you know that was available in the previous kona in the 2024 but also you have this one that is the modern one i like the modern one looks amazing all right so let's continue with the overview sorry for the for 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 talk for talk about other topic but this is the first time that i have the 2025 so you have here the steering wheel that is leather with red stitching also here the controls for the uh, cruise control right side uh, phone and ra phone and radio the paddle shifts as you know also we still here still here have the new ccnc system since 2024 with android auto and apple carplay controls for the engine start stop engine start stop controls for the volume for the tuning shortcuts for the principal uh, features of the multimedia system and you have here the control for the air conditioning with auto mode uh, front and, and rear defroster and independent climate zone we still have here uh, type c ports two usb type c ports wireless charger and 12 volt outlet here you have uh, heated seats in three levels heated steering wheel rear camera auto hold and this is another feature that is available only for the 2025 model 2024 you have the option to change to change the drive modes right and in the 2024 you have normal sport and snow but now you have uh, and also the the 2024 have also auto lock but now you don't have auto lock auto lock but you have terrain modes so if you press two terrain modes you have snow mud and sand this is a very nice feature because uh, depending of the terrain the the car will distribute the power and you will be not stuck so here as you know the center console with the with those nice cup holders 
armrest with these, those divisions the rugged uh, portion of the of the glove box at the up and this and here the glove box and as you know the end line have the sunroof and also LED light interior I still love this uh, new design of the gouges looks amazing I really love it and as you know you have the gearbox that is in the steering wheel that makes that you have more space inside let's go to the front And for 2025, we still have the 1.6 turbo engine, four cylinder with around 190 horsepower. That is only for the end line and end line ultimate of the Kona. And also this engine will be available for a new trim. That is the Kona Sport. That is a trim between the preferred trend and end line. It's like a preferred trend, but with the uh, 1.6 turbo engine of the N-Line and N-Line Ultimate and a specific 19-inch uh, wrist design. Once I will have this car available, I will make a video definitely. All right, and that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. Have a great day.